What's up everybody, my name is Mr. Drillicious and today I'm going to show you how you can make this very simple and easy widget to show off who you're going to rate at the end of your stream. Now this widget you can make yourself, we're going to be using OBS and Streamerbot to actually automate all of these things. So whenever you start your next raid, everything is going to happen automatically. You don't have to think about a single thing except who you're going to raid. So we're going to be diving into OBS so I can show you what sources you need to set up, how you can customize this yourself, and then we're going to jump into Streamerbot to actually set up the actions that we need for this widget. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video so I can show you exactly how to make this simple and easy to use widget. Right, here we are we are in obs and like i said we're going to be making everything in obs first we're going to be creating the sources that we need so we're going to be creating a new scene and let's call this raid widget now first off what we're going to need in this scene is we're going to be adding a browser source we're going to be calling this browser widget raider pfp there we go now we don't need to add anything here we just need to have a size of 200 by 200 so click ok now we have a nice little profile picture area that we can use for our widget later on you can just put it anywhere on your screen, it doesn't really matter, so I'm going to stick it right here in the middle. So let's put it in the center here, center to screen, so we're going to be using that. Now again, you can customize this completely, so put it everywhere, anywhere on your screen, it doesn't really matter where it is. But for this example, we're just going to put everything in the center to make it easy to see. Next up, we're going to be adding a text GDI plus source, we're going to be calling this text radar title. We're going to go with a font, I always like to use Montserrat in bold in the size of 50 so let's go with that and then we're going to go with rating as the title we're going to add that and we're going to add that on top of this uh, we're going to center that to the screen horizontally there we go so now we have two basic things already we're going to add one more thing which is our text source for the name of the person we're going to rate so let's call this text widget raider name Again, we're going to go with Montserrat, just because I like that as a font. Uh, let's go with regular this time, and we're going to set it to 50 as well. And let's just set a random name in here. So we're going to go with Mr. Drillicious. I'm going to add that to the bottom of this scene. Again, we're going to center it horizontally so it all is nice and centered. Okay, so now we have the three basic ingredients for what we need to actually make this widget working. Now, of course, you can do some other fun things. So I'm going to actually add a few effects to this. One of them is I want to have a show transition come in. So we're going to have a slide for the title, which is going to come down as soon as it appears, and then a high transition, which is also going to be a slide, which is going to go up. For the widget, we're going to actually do the same thing, but instead of going down and up, we're going to go right for the show, and we're gonna go left for the hide, and the same thing is gonna happen for the widget raider name. So we just go to show transition, slide, right for the name, and then hide transition, slide, left for that. So now if we turn everything off, you can see that everything slides in. So the raider title comes down, the profile picture comes in the center there, and then the raider name is also gonna slide right in over there. Now we actually need to jump into Streamerbot to set up a couple of actions to actually make this widget respond to whoever we're gonna raid. So let's switch it over to Streamerbot. Okay, so here we are in Streamerbot and we're gonna be making a new action. So let's right click action add. We're gonna be calling this raider widget. The group is gonna be widgets. And we're going to leave the queue to default. Okay, so now we're going to be setting up a sub action. So right click in the sub actions menu, select add sub action, go to OBS and then select set a browser source URL. Then we're going to be selecting the browser widget radar PFP, the one that we just created in our rate widget scene. And we're going to be adding the following variable to it. We're going to add a percentage sign and then we're going to go with rate user profile image URL and we're going to finish with a percentage sign again. Make sure that you copy it exactly like this with a capitalized U, P and I and a capitalized URL of, as well. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Select OK. And that is our first action that we need. Next up, we're going to be adding another action. So right click again on add sub action, go to OBS and then select set GDI text. Then we select the text that we just created. So we're going to go into raid widget scene and the source is going to be the widget raider name actually. And here again, we're going to add another variable. So percentage sign raid user with a capital U percentage sign again. Click OK, 
And those are the two most important things because those are actually going to be switching and changing depending on which person we're going to rate later on. Next up, all that we have to do is make sure that all the effects are going to show up. So right click, we're going to add a small delay of two seconds. So go with 2000 milliseconds right there. And then we're going to go to add sub action again, OBS, and we're going to go with set source visibility state. So we're going to first show the text radar title. So first we're going to do that. So select that, select to visible and click OK. Next up, we're going to add another small delay of 500 seconds, which is basically half a second. Then we're going to add another source visibility state action. This time we're going to go with the profile picture. So the browser widget radar PFP, select that, select visible and click OK again. Another delay, this time of 100 milliseconds. And then we're going to add the last one that we need. So go to OBS again, set source visibility state. And this time we're going to have the widget radar name show as visible again. Now this is basically everything. Like I said, this is a very simple and basic widget. You can make it as custom as you want. You can add filters, you can add other effects as well, which of course you then need to add as sub actions as well. But in this video, I wanted to show you basic and the foundation of how to actually set this widget up. And you can take it yourself and make it into something way nicer than this very simple widget. Okay, so now we have the widget set up that is actually going to show whoever we're going to rate. However, we also want to make sure that it automatically hides itself again. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to duplicate this this action. I'm going to change the name to instead of showing copy, it's going to be hide. We're going to delete some of these actions. So these first three we don't need. So let's get rid of those. Don't need the delays as well because we're going to be done with our stream anyway. We just want to make sure that all the sources are going to be disabled again after we actually end our stream and send on the raid to someone else. So we're going to just leave in these three actions. So all the source visibility states. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit those and we're going to set them to hidden. For all three of them, set them to hidden. And then we are done. Next up, we have to go into the settings to make sure that as soon as we start the raid, it's going to populate the widget and it's going to show the widget. And of course, as soon as we end the raid, it's going to do all of those things in reverse again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top of the screen here and select platforms and make sure you are in the Twitch category and select the raid menu right here. And then underneath sending rate, we're going to go with start. And we're going to select our new radar widget action that we just made right there. And then for send, we're going to select the hide widget that we made right there. And this is basically everything that we have to do. So in order to test this, we're just going to select our start action right there and click on test. And as you can see on the screen next to it, it's going to show a random user because if we're testing it. We're not actually going to send a raid, but we can see their profile picture, their username, and of course the title that we created as well. Everything came animating in just as we wanted. So it is working perfectly. If you want to test the ending, so the hiding section as well, all you have to do is select this, select end, click test, and then you will see everything hiding itself automatically again as well. Now, again, this was a very simple and easy widget that you can create yourself within a couple of minutes. So you can show at the end of your stream who you're going to raid and who you're going to send your community over to. Now, like I said before, this was a very basic way of doing this widget. But of course, you can customize it with different colors, different effects, different overlays, different filters. Basically, you can do anything that you want. But the foundation of it is going to be the same. Whereas you kind of take the information from Streamabot, set up the actions right there, and then you can do with the widget in OBS whatever you want to do, of course, as usual. Make sure that it matches the look and feel of your own stream. Hopefully this video was helpful to you and I inspired you to create something new within Streambot and your own stream yourself. Now speaking of streaming, I'm not sure if you guys already knew this, but obviously I stream myself as well over on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I'll always love to hang out with all of you guys in the communities. And if this video was helpful to you as well, please consider helping me, my channel and my content by leaving a thumbs up on the video, subscribing to the channel and of course ring that bell so you know exactly when my next video goes live. Other than that, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. As always though, I'm going to leave you with the following, which is that my name is Mr. Delicious. You have all been extremely delicious yourselves as well. Take care, have a good one, and I'll see you on Twitch or in the next video. Where could it be? Oh, no. oh, come on. I think he knows. <laughs> I think he found it. <laughs> oh my god, plus that was... Someone needs to clip that. That is perfect. <laughs> that sound effect. <laughs>